Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So this is going to be our checkpoint three, checkpoint three four, gate twenty twenty six examination. So what we do in these checkpoints? We usually discuss the preparation strategy of the students, or we discuss about the progress as well. So these kind of things we are going to do now. So already there are two checkpoints. Now it might happen that you are watching this checkpoint for the first time. So I will divide the video in the three parts. First one I will be talking about those students who are going to start the preparation now. Then I will be talking about the students who have done one or two subjects, and then I will be talking about the students who have done more than four subjects, four or more than four subjects, right? So first, first let's talk about the students who are going to start the preparation now. That means I mean that you are starting right from the beginning, right? From zero you are starting your preparation now. So sir, am I on the time? No, you are surely not on the time. You are late. If you are starting right from the zero now, then you are late. You are late in your preparation, right? So now, sir, can I prepare for gate examination now? Surely you can prepare for gate examination, but the rank that you can target that would be under 500. Okay, under 500 rank still it is achievable. Under 500 means sure, sure you are getting a score around 700, like more than 700 or more than 700. Under 500, like this year I guess it was roughly around in 500 it was roughly around 670 score it was there, right? 670 yeah. So if you get above 650 score then your job is done. you are going to get something good out of it so yeah surely you can get something good out of this particular attempt but you need to start now right because in january what i did i uploaded the complete road map there i told that you can get air one as well that was a 9 month road map then uh, few days back i uploaded 240 days road map there i said that you can get uh, under 100 after few days i'm going to upload uh, 200 days road map as well there i will say that you can get under 500 and after few days i am going to upload 150 days road map as well and there i will say you can get under 1000 so these road maps will keep on coming views will also keep on coming but it's you who will decide in which category you need to fall 9 months that is gone that 9 uh, months after that 240 days that is also gone now you are left with 200 and 150 days in 100 after 100 days a lot of coaching institute will release crash courses as well so you do want to fall in the category of crash courses so it's up to you in which category you need to fall you are watching this checkpoint 3 i would expect that you fall in the category of 200 days and surely you can get under 500 if you are able to if you are ready to put the required efforts so what should be your task you are starting a fresh your task would be from wherever i am studying i will watch the complete lectures whatever the dpp that teacher is giving me with the solutions dpp with the solution whatever the dpp the teacher is giving me with the solution i will solve that dpp after that i am done with everything after that i will solve the pi equals that's it nothing else watching the lectures dpp will be there in the lecture itself i will solve it if i am not able to solve a particular question i will see the solution and proceed in that manner i will co cover my lectures after that when i move to the next chapter i will solve the pi equals of the previous chapter how will you solve the pi equals for that i have made a video you will go to youtube and type how to solve gate pi equals pref fusion okay how to solve gate pi equals pref fusion so there efficient technique and efficient technique i have told how to solve the pi equals so this should be your task if you are starting a fresh lecture solve the dpp and assignment and when you start the next subject just solve the pi equals of the previous subject that's it in the next checkpoint i can let you know that how you need to proceed in your preparation but as of now this would be your target and the next checkpoint would be coming roughly around 40 days so let's expect that it would be coming on 30th of july okay on 30th of july i will try to on 31st july let's say on 31st july i will try to bring the next checkpoint checkpoint 4 so there i will be expecting that you will be done with at least one subject that is the least requirement least requirement is that you should be done with one subject and if it is possible you should be done with two subjects okay try doing two subjects by 31st july if you have done the two subjects then i can tell that this is the brilliant progress you are doing and you can surely get pretty good out of it if you are done with one subject as well then also it is good but less than one subject not acceptable at all so this was about the students who are who are starting right now now in the last checkpoint as well i told that there would be some students who are starting a fresh so now those students would be done with one or two subjects right those who started from june onwards from the beginning of june onwards those who started a fresh now they would be done with one or two subjects if you are done with two subjects you have done absolutely well 
right you have done absolutely well if you are done with one subject as well then also you can be proud of yourself that you have put required effort okay if you are done with two subjects that means you have put more efforts than the required one and you should be proud of yourself if you have done one subject as well then also you can be proud of yourself but if you have done more if you have done less than one subject then you should be worrying a little bit okay only a little bit okay you should be worrying a little bit and you need to pace up you need to pace up your preparation you need to put more effort if you have done less than one subject like if you are in between of one subject only right now if you if you are already done, done with two subjects then you can get started with the pyqs i hope you are already doing it when you move to the second subject you have started the pyqs of the previous subject i hope you are already doing it if you are not doing it then start doing the pyqs now let's just say sir i have done the two subjects sir, now i am comfortable with the pyqs as well so what else i can do you can start writing the test series because two subjects are done and you are already in july right july is about to come so two subjects are done along with that you are already in july your pace is also pretty good you feel like that sir pyqs are also done get started with the test series now okay so prefusion test series you can buy and other institute pay test series also you can buy so surely you will love the test series of prefusion so this is not a promotional video i am just telling that you can get started with the test series now right if you are done with the pyqs of the previous subject and if you are confident enough with the previous subject now if you are done with one subject only then move to the second one okay done with one subject then move to the second one when you do the second one you solve the pyqs of the previous one okay when you solve when you study the second subject you solve the pyqs of the subject one that you have studied and if you feel like that sir, sir now i am confident enough in that particular subject then you can start writing that test series as well so this is actually the flow that you watch the lecture you solve the dpb and assignment you move to the next subject you solve the so you solve the pyqs of the previous subject then you feel like that you are comfortable with this particular subject then you solve the pyqs of the other subject then move to the third subject and once you feel like that i am comfortable with one or two subjects now now i can write down the test series so this should be the flow this is the actual flow so now you are right on the path in the next checkpoint when i meet i would be expecting that you will be done with three subjects three subjects along with that you should be done with the pyqs of the previous subject as well right this is the thing that i would be expecting and on weekends i expect that you will be writing down the test series at least on sundays you will try to write down two to three test and for the test series i always say that never ever care about your marks so the same thing i will tell to the tell to those guys who have done more than four subjects so you guys can continue watching this video you can guys you guys can watch the video till the end so now i will be talking about those guys who are done with three three to four subjects or more than four subjects so you guys are doing pretty well you will be surely able to complete the full syllabus by the end of your gate preparation basically by the end of december you will be able to done that you will be able to do the full syllabus for sure there is no doubt about that if you maintain this pace if you maintain this particular pace so now what you need to do you are already proceeding in the next subject so don't break your preparation proceed in the next subject now if you feel like that sir previous subject i am forgetting then you take one or two full day you can take one or two full day for revising the notes of the previous subject okay one or two full day you can take even if you have solved the pyqs sir i have watched the lecture i have solved the pyqs i have solved the assignments but still it feels like that sir i am forgetting some formula from emft sir i am forgetting some concept from digital electronics you can take full day and revise those notes one or two full day it's not that sir i will take a week and revise everything no it's not like that take one or two full day and revise the notes and along with that proceed in the next subject because if you take one or two weeks just for revising the notes then it will be very boring for you you will feel like that sir i am not productive and that will break your consistency along with that your confidence and uh, it might hamper your preparation so don't take a full week take some full days two to three full days for revising the notes and then proceed in your preparation in that manner you proceed along with that you would have surely get getting started with the test series if you haven't started now you get started okay at least there would be one or two subject where you are most comfortable you feel like that sir completely i am comfortable so get started with the test series as well now talking about the test series performance so this thing i tell again and again that your marks in the subject wise test series and in topic wise test series doesn't matter at all your marks in the full length test series does that matter yes that matters in the end a lot of people will tell you that your marks in full length test series doesn't matter it matters okay it matters but your marks in the topic wise test series and subject wise test series doesn't matter out of 25 if i am scoring 5 marks then also it is fine when i am writing down the when i am writing down the test series i am forgetting the formula absolutely fine when i am writing down the test series i am having the fear of time that sir i am not able to write down the answer of a particular question i am not able to solve a particular question within the given time i am having the pressure of the time then also it is fine okay 
every single thing is fine in subject wise test series and topic wise test series even in the full and test series if you do these kind of error then also it is fine because this is the practice this is the thing that you are preparing for so that all these error doesn't happen in the final examination that's why you are preparing now that's what we are pre preparing for so whatever the wrong thing that should happen with you that should happen in the test series only right there will be some critical test series where you feel like that sir i am not able to solve any question then what should be your temperament for solving that particular test series so that temperament i cannot tell that strategy i cannot tell that strategy will build by the practice that strategy will be different for different guys and they will build that particular strategy on their own by practicing the questions when you practice the test series then you build the temperament of the examination hall that uh, any kind of situation can come in the examination hall how i will deal that particular situation because when i went to the examination hall i again and again again tell this story that i went with the mindset that i need to get a rank under 50 or even rank under 10 as well that kind of mindset i was having which is absolutely wrong you should not have any kind of mindset that this much rank i need to score that much rank i need to secure so that mindset is wrong first thing is that and secondly when i started writing down that final examination when i started writing down gate 22 examination in the first 25 minutes i was able to solve only two question because in my set what happened is that all the tougher question all the tougher question from information theory that were there in the initial 5 to 6 question only okay there was one question from digital receiver that was also on the tougher side only and some question from information theory so whatever the part of communication was there like that was very tough and i would not say very tough it was like it was out of the box no one expected that it will come from this particular part so all the parts were there in the initial 7 to 8 question and i was not able to solve any of them so that kind of demotivation i i was having then a very simple question of network analysis came and i was not able to solve that particular easy question as well the simple question also i was not able to solve so in that moment you can panic but i had written enough test series i knew that if i am not able to solve then my competitors are also not able to solve because i had written the test series right those who are writing down the test series those who are competing in the test series they only are competing in the main examination as well so at that time i just told to myself that if you are not able to solve you have done enough hard work then other people are also not able to solve you don't need to score 100 marks here you just need to defeat your competitors that's it if i get a decent enough if i get decent enough marks then surely i am getting a pretty good rank so at that time the important part was not to panic and proceed next so once i proceed i got to know that i am able to solve most of the questions now okay so that was that was the scenario how i used to tackle how i was able to tackle this kind of scenario because i had written enough test series i was having the same kind of scenario in my j examination as well in j advance in j means the same thing happened but i was not able to tackle that particular situation because i did not write down the test series now i am telling you that this is how you need to tackle the situation but still you will not be able to tackle it unless you have you have actually experienced it you need to experience this particular situation and that particular situation will come only by writing the test series so that's why i am focusing again and again on the test series that you need to get started with the test series so that you can you can understand what all kind of situation can come in your examination right along with that it is a great practice as well a good test series will have a great set of questions so that will be a very good practice as well that you will be having a great set of questions that will help you revise your concept along with that you will be able to uh, revise the formula as well and you will be able to see how you are able to solve the problems or not if it is taking more time to solve the problems then it is fine no need to worry gate examination is never the examination of speed it is the examination of accuracy you will never find a ranker saying that sir i i knew the question paper but i was not able to solve it never ever happens okay you will not know the answer of a particular question that's why you are you are not able to solve it there would be more than enough time so even if it is taking more time let it be it will be improving with the time it will improve with the time the important part is not to give up stay till the end okay the one who stays till the end the one who doesn't give up in his whole preparation the one who stays the one who stays consistent in the preparation without giving up he will surely achieve anything good out of it surely anything good out of it, this particular examination he is going to achieve so that is about the test series that i wanted to tell to both kind of guys who are done with two to three subject or four to five subjects so those who are done with more number of subject they can just get started with the next one and now you need to focus on revision as well so in the revision you can take out one or two days or even three days as well to revise the previous notes so that's how you will be proceeding in your preparation right so yeah that's it about the video along with that we are currently running a free trial complete free trial is there so whatever the courses are there that are available on prefusion 
so they are completely available for free okay so the free trial is there till 30th of june till 30th of june the free trial is there so you can go to our website and check out those courses so if there is some topic let's just say you are studying a particular subject there is a tough topic which you might not uh, which you are not able to understand or you feel like that sir yeah this is the topic where i struggle the most then you can study that particular topic if you are a dropper then you will be able to you can cover one whole subject as well within 10 days if you are a dropper who have already studied the subject so you can cover one whole subject as well whatever the subject that you want to prepare so in that manner you can proceed so try utilizing the free trial in the best possible manner right and uh, along with that we are currently running a offer as well uh, we are running a offer of 40% off on gate courses so you can apply the code gate40 g a t e 40 gate40 also we are running 25% off on the placement courses you can apply the code job25 j o b 25 job25 on the placement courses right yeah and along with that we have uh, launched achievers batch as well so there is a batch called achiever batch so yesterday only i made a video regarding that particular batch so you can go and check out the video so there i have told about that particular batch the batch name is the achievers batch okay so in that achievers batch i have given all the information what all things we are providing and what is the different that we are doing so there is something different that we are doing with that particular subscription so you can watch that video okay then yeah thank you very much